Hi, I'm your favorite dysfunctional scientist, and I'm going to tell you about something you probably already know. Why do people insist they're correct without having adequate information? Well, a lot of people have studied it. This research group wanted to figure out exactly what was going on when people only had partially correct information. They took a group of subjects and gave each of them a different set of facts. They had the scenario of a school that doesn't have access to clean drinking water should they merge with another school. One group had pro-merge information, another group had anti-merge, and another group still had both articles. What they found is that each group thought that they had adequate access to information. And of course, their opinions matched the information they had. The good news, the really good news, is that once they were given additional information, they all had about the same idea about whether or not they should merge. Half split. This actually surprised the researchers. They thought that people would stand firm on their original bad information, but they didn't. They were capable of change. Still more research groups wanted to see how social media could influence opinions. They found that having negative input from their peers on a topic in the comments would give people a negative view of that topic. We're actually seeing two pretty well-established scenarios going on. One of them is the classic Dunning-Kruger. When you have a little bit of access to information, you're likely going to think you know an awful lot. But once you see opposing viewpoints, you might find that you don't know as much as you thought you knew. And yes, we have long known that your peers have a major influence on your behaviors and beliefs, but what does this mean for all of us? Well, my best advice is if you find someone else who has an opposing viewpoint, try to put yourself in their shoes and understand why they might feel that way. It's what I've always been saying.